All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as you guys may know, the next Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakening that's coming to the global side of the game is for the STR Omega Shenron. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys all the details for his Extreme Z battle event as well as the info for the unit itself so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once all of this comes out later next week. All right, so without further ado, let's dive right into it, starting here with the Extreme Z Battle events first. And the release date is gonna be March 12th, 2020. So today is March 2nd. So if you're watching this video the day that it comes out, then we have about 10 days to go before the uh, Extreme Z Battle and the Extreme Z Awakening come out on Global. Moving on to the weakness for this event, which is the Kamehameha category. So if you're one of those people that actually has the AGL LR Gohan and have you know a pretty solid Kamehameha team, this should be one of the easiest Extreme Z Awakenings to come out in a while just because of how busted the category is. But if you're like me, you know, you poor souls out there that weren't able to pull the AGL LR Gohan during the 300 million download celebration, that's okay because we do have some options. Number one, if you really want to run a Kamehameha team still, you could use the uh, STR Extreme Z Awakened Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and then obviously bring a friend AGL Gohan. That's one option. But number two, you could just bring like a good Super AGL team. And I'm pretty sure a solid Super AGL team can probably take care of this event at least up until like level 30 or so. So those are your main options as far as teams to bring for this event. And then moving on to the actual levels is pretty standard stuff. One stone per level for a total of 30 stones. And then after level 3, he gets an additional damage reduction of 50% against Fizz types, which makes sense since he is a STR type. And then after level 7, he gets 60% damage reduction against STR and Fizz types. And then after level nine, characters that are SSR or lower can only cause less than two million damage. And the reason this was implemented, of course, was because people were bringing Devilman onto the Extreme Z battle events and uh, just trying to nuke the boss, which did work for the most part. It was just super, super rare and took a lot of tries, but I guess Bandai just really didn't like that. So that's why this was added. And then after level 12, he gets additional 70% damage reduction against Int, STR, and Fizz types. And then after level 19, he'll get 80%, additional 80% damage reduction on top of the 55% here against Tech, Int, STR, Fizz, and Extreme types. So if you're looking to beat this event, you basically have to bring an AGL team. It could be like a Kamehameha team with mainly AGL units, but like I said, to keep it simple, you can just bring a super AGL team and you should be just fine, right? And uh, that's pretty much it as far as the levels go. It's your standard Extreme Z battle event. You're getting uh, stones, you're getting some medals along the way, of course, and then obviously uh, some orbs and also STR Kai's as you go along. And uh, once it's all said and done, in total, for clearing all 30 levels, you can expect 30 stones, 11 STR Kai's, enough uh, STR orbs to rainbow an STR unit, and actually have some to spare, and all the medals you need to Extreme Z Awaken the STR Omega Shenron. As far as missions go, there's gonna be four different missions, oh sorry, three missions for a total of four Dragon Stones. So you add those to the 30, that's 34 total free to play Dragon Stones you can acquire from this event. And uh, here is a quick, um, I guess, overview of the Kamehameha category. I'm sure you guys can just go check your box and filter by Kamehameha, but these are all the units that are in the category at the moment. It is a very, very powerful category. And uh, there's also a lot of AGL units, as you can see. So it shouldn't be too hard for most people to build an all AGL um, Kamehameha team. But like I said, just a regular super AGL team should also be able to take care of things just fine. And I guess that's all there is to see on this page. So why don't we move on to the unit itself? and uh, talk about all the changes that this Extreme Z Awakening is gonna bring to it. So 
His old leader skill was STR types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. Post Extreme Z Awakening, that becomes STR types keep plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. His old super attack was immense damage and greatly lowers defense. Now it's immense damage and massively lowers defense, which is 80% for 3 turns versus... Uh, 50% for 3 turns, so a pretty significant increase in the debuff there. His old passive was attack plus 80%, all enemies attack minus 30%. Now, it's attack and defense plus 80%, full power category allies key plus 2, and attack plus 40%, which is an insane, insane support, um, especially considering that he also still gets his own attack and defense buff, and he also debuffs enemies attack by 40%. So uh, there's a lot to like here, guys. He's basically a huge debuffer, right? 80% for three turns for defense, and then attack minus 40% every single time he's on rotation. And uh, amazing support, keep plus two, attack plus 40%. The full power category is a very, very good category. And uh, now he also gets some defense, which is something he didn't have before. It used to be just attack plus 80%. Now it's attack and defense plus 80%, making him a little bit more tanky. He's still not going to be that tanky, but he's going to be able to survive supers a lot better than he used to. And of course, his links stay the same as before. Categories stay the same. His new rainbow stats become 17,548 HP, 17,043 attack, and 13,910 defense. So overall, a very, very good Extreme Z Awakening right here. I wouldn't say he's you know, the best Extreme Z Awakening by any means. I think that definitely is a title held by the Fizz Vegito Blue. I don't think he's as good as the Int Janemba either. I would say the AGL Super Vegito's Extreme Z Awakening is also better than this guy, but don't get me wrong, he's still a very, very good unit. He hits hard, he's an amazing support, and he also massively debuffs the enemy. So it's gonna be fun to, you know, bring him on some events like the Legendary Goku event and Super Battle Road and see how much of a difference those debuffs actually make, alright? So uh, that's all there is to talk about in this video guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're hyped for STR Omega Shenron's Extreme Z Awakening, like I said, coming in about 10 days from now. And uh, that's it, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to click on this video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.